There are 17,000 Marvel comics, 16 million Marvel TV shows, and over 800 billion Marvel movies set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. There's so much, in fact, that much like the Avengers Infinity War, I had to split this video into two parts so I could properly cover all the material. The first movie in the Marvel Universe came out in the year 2008 and went by the name Iron Man. The film follows Tony Stark, a man who gets kidnapped by a group of terrorists and don't realize that they could just shoot the eye holes in his Iron Man suit and probably kill him pretty easily. Come on guys, just aim for the eye holes, they're not that hard to hit. My turn. Uh oh. Oh jeez. The movie was packed with action and humor, but the biggest surprise in the movie took place after the credits when Samuel L. Jackson enters Tony Stark's house to tell us that Iron Man was not actually a movie, but it was actually a two hour long trailer for an upcoming film called The Avengers. That's not coming out for four years. However, in the meantime, Marvel promised to deliver four more feature length trailers before the movie came out. The next trailer used a tagline The Incredible Hulk and focused mainly on his character. It was a really well made trailer since they only showed the Hulk for a couple of minutes so they wouldn't give away too much of his character in the Avengers movie. The next trailer did this pretty well too. I like how they made the battle with Whiplash at the end extra short so they didn't spoil the whole battle in the Avengers either. Truly masterful trailer editing. Okay, so in 2011, Marvel released two new trailers for the Avengers. The first one centers around the blonde guy. So he comes down to Earth to, um, uh, he meets, uh, Jane Foster. Then there's, a. Uh, a uh, guy with the fire and uh, the shield. Uh, Captain America, uh, the blue cube. There is uh, the red guy, uh, Steve Rogers. You know, this is boring. Let's just skip to the Avengers. Oh, After four years of hyping it up, Marvel finally released The Avengers, and by this point, if it weren't the greatest movie ever made, Marvel would collapse and the entire superhero genre would cease to exist. Luckily, The Avengers was the best movie of all time, even better than Too Fast, Too Furious. So in the movie, Thor's asshole brother Loki is pissed, so he decides to gather an alien army and take over the world. But luckily, Samuel Jackson spent five goddamn movies assembling some of Earth's mightiest heroes. Thor, Captain America, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, The Hulk, and these two. <laughs> so anyways, Loki shows up, but luckily the Avengers come in and capture him. Make a move, reindeer games. Just kidding, there's still two hours left. So he's locked up in their helicarrier, but then dumbass Thor ends up letting him escape. So he assembles his alien army to attack New York or something. Loki's name doesn't really make any sense, because how is this low-key? So the Avengers come in, but Loki's unable to stop them due to the power of their six movie deal contracts. <laughs> Sorry, Loki, you're gonna have to wait four more movies if you want to kill any of these guys. So then they do this, then this happens, and the movie ends. The Avengers opened a critical acclaim and went on to become the third highest grossing film of all time, proving that Marvel was not fucking around. Shortly after the film's release, they announced Phase 2, a whole new set of Marvel movies all leading up to another Avengers movie. However, after the credits of The Avengers, they hinted at the beginning of a storyline that would unfold over the course of the next decade, a storyline featuring the most powerful and evil being known to man. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is either.